Hello Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. There is a playlist for November with readings on there. Or you might want to look at your moon and rising sign for any clarity uh, or help. You might get some clarity there. All that glitters. Now this is things, the veil's been lifted and things are being revealed here. So you're seeing things, people and in situations, environments, whatever it may be. And their true authenticity. You're starting to see the truth. You're starting to see through the veil of things here. The masks are off. So things can be coming to light. Opportunity and change. And you might want to take up new opportunities and bring in change. It might be a time to do that. You might be realising that yourself. Compassion. Now, this is a beautiful energy to be in because this is showing compassion for yourself and others around you. And when you do that, you will get compassion back. So even if there's things turning up that are not suiting you or not sitting well with you, we've got to remember we're all at different degrees of development here. Uh, we're at different stages of development, sorry. So we're all doing the best we can. Be compassionate towards others, even although you might want to move on. Let's just see what the tarot is saying here. You might want to take up new opportunities here now. The Lover's Card. The Five of Wands. The Fool Card. The World Card. Beautiful. There we go. The Knight of Pentacles, which is movement forward, the overall energy there. The Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. The, the Emperor. And a judgment, judgment card. So this here is about, we've got the five here. Now this is antagonistic, competitive energy in your environment, or it can be within yourselves. What Spirit's saying here is if you're starting to realise things and things are coming to light, choose your battles carefully. Try to remain compassionate about things and situations around you because it will serve you better. But this is about moving away from that. You don't want to be around any antagonistic energies. You don't, also you don't want to be doubting yourself. Uh, about any judgments or choices that might you might want to be making because you might find as things come to light that you might want to take up changing opportunities and you're capable of it. So don't doubt yourself. Will I won't I? All that type of thing. Yes, it's time. It's time to take up new opportunities and bring in change. So don't doubt it. It's about time to take a leap of faith forward. This lover's card, the old idea of the, the lover's card, the Gemini energy, was choices. And it's about choosing after realizations that are coming forward, choosing to take a leap of faith towards new beginnings and opportunities here. So it's time for change here, uh, Pisces. Now this could be going towards, there can be an opportunity here for love coming in. So new opportunities and change coming in that sense, there could be a new romantic relationship coming forward as well. It could be very compassionate relationship. So you want to, you might want to take a leap of faith towards that. So it doesn't mean to say that these are bad things that are being revealed. You might be learning something about a person. And you might realise that there's an opportunity here for a relationship. So you're starting to see the things, see this person in a romantic sense, if you like, or they're seeing you that way. Now, this can also be, like I say, things coming to light that are not sitting well with you. If that's the case, you're taking your leap of faith. Don't doubt yourself. You have the ability to go forward. Now, when he goes forward, he travels light. He doesn't take all his burdens with him. He leaves all his burdens behind. And what this is about is about making a judgment call about how you're going to go forward here. Because overall, this new opportunity is going to start a new chapter in your life. So the world card is about completion. One chapter of your life ending and a new one beginning. And this is what spirit is wanting for you. Opportunity and change is on the horizon if, you would take, if you're prepared to take it up and take a leap of faith towards it. Now, this can be in any area of your life. It could be within your relationships, your work life, your finances or your environments here. Now, this judgment call is going to move you forward to a new chapter. The universe is going to support you with this. You can see the angels there trying to help you there. And it's going to help you. The, you I beg your pardon, I'll start again. The judgment is going to rise you out of the, it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. You can see them coming out the coffins here. And the angels are supporting you do it, to do this. So it's great. It's a great change that's coming forward. But it's going to require you. To, to make the judgment call and take the leap of faith. And it's about you taking control of things now. 
and going forward to new things. Now, he's somebody who's in the driving seat here. He's got a lot of knowledge. So you've gained a lot through what you've been through. So you know exactly what you need to do here. You've got, you're in the right position here and you've got the power now and the knowledge to go forward. Now, this can also be somebody who's got a lot of knowledge that could help you uh, go towards the new opportunity and the change that you're wanting. So whatever this may be, it could be a professional person, it could be a tutor, a, a counsellor, whatever this may be for you. But there's helpful people around uh, as well that could come in, you could get advice from. And this is all about moving forward. It's about moving forward to great stability in your life. This change, this judgment, this new chapter to your life, then whatever it is you're investing in, whether it be with your financial situation, your relationships, your work, or your environments, whatever you're putting your energies into here is definitely going to bring stability into your life. Now, this could be somebody bringing you the opportunity, so new job opportunity, uh, new chance of stability within a relationship, whatever this may be, mean, opportunity to invest your money is very stable, it's going to be very lucrative for you. And it could be uh, pentacles or a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy, but it doesn't have to be. But whether it's a person or you going towards this, there's going to be movement. Now, when we're moving forward, we want to make sure it can be very slow. We can feel as if it's a very slow moving night. But he's slow because he dots his I's and strokes his T's. He makes sure that everything's in place before he goes forward. So in other words, he's gained all the knowledge that he needs to uh, to, about what he's investing in. He dots his I's and strokes his T's. He looks at the details of contracts. He knows exactly what he's signing up for so that he knows uh, through taking the time out to look at the details is laying the solid foundations so that will be growth in his life. And there's going to be a lot of abundance that's going to come into your life through doing this. Now, this could be windfalls. It could be inheritances. It could be compensation coming through. But there's a new chapter in your life. It doesn't have to be financial abundance. It could be a job that pays more money. There could be a wage rise coming in or some kind of promotion. But it can be abundance in relationships as well. So good tutors, good advisors. It could be good uh, group of people in your college course. Whatever it may, supportive work colleagues, whatever it may be, there's support here, a support network around you. So abundance in every area of your life you could benefit from. And when I said here that it could be wage rises and promotion, this is the King of Pentacles and he is somebody who's sitting back and he's enjoying the fruits of his labour. So the change that you're making, the adjustment that you're making and the leap of faith that you're taking here is going to bring a lot of abundance into your life and you're going to benefit tenfold from it. Because anything you invest in here, you're going to sit back and you'll be able to enjoy the fruits of your labour here. The outcome is going to be tremendous. So great stability. Uh, good money coming in. You could end up a boss type energy here. Uh, if it's a relationship, like I say, you're investing in, there's great stability ahead, a good home life. Uh, you're enjoying uh, your relationships in every area. So beautiful contentment. He's very content and happy and he's benefited from, benefited from making the right judgment calls. The opportunities and the change changes that he's made to his life has brought great stability in. We have friends, friends. Spend more time with friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Absolutely, you might need to do that as well. Especially if there's any antagonistic energies in your environment here. Guides, guides. Your spirit guides are there to help you. Communicate with your spirit guides today. Spirit has always got your back. You have to ask for help from spirit. They don't just do it. So ask for help and support from the angels. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe, Pisces, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.